I've got one case, it's got my guitar, and it's got my pedal board. If you're anything like me, you get sick of just hauling all this gear around all the time. So I made a small pedal board that fits inside of my guitar case. Let's take a look. Here is the guitar case. And you can see we've got the pedals uh, in the back corner here. I'll pull it out in a second. But the pedals that I've got on here are uh, from left to right. I've got a tuner, then my arena reverb, my El Capistan, my rats, and then the right red pedal is an OCD clone. So if I take out my guitar here, you'll be able to see a little bit more clearly maybe. I've got this sort of trench, which is um, just, I've pulled up the felt underneath and put some kind of foam that I use a razor and, or scissors and shape into a nice supportive piece for a neck. And then I've uh, kind of created a couple of pockets on each side of that. I put my strap just next to the guitar. So I've got everything I would need. Um, I've been powering this with a just one spot, which I've had for a long time. I have a, a Pedal Power 2 Plus that I use with isolated outputs, but I haven't had noise issues with just this uh, setup. I guess there's not enough power hungry pedals in here. Then I've got uh, my headphones and a couple of guitar cables, but just a nice empty pocket here. And then the pedal board itself. It's real straightforward. It's just a piece of plywood that I've painted black on the bottom. And then I support my original hometown Great Lake Loons. We can see a little more clearly now uh, the trenches that I've made here. Originally this case only it was a big empty space on the left big empty space on the right it had two um, Kind of crossbar foam pieces like this which is just styrofoam covered with this felt and then it had a wooden really thin wooden uh, hinged door there that you could keep cables and stuff but since there was so much empty space over on this left side I was like I wonder could I fit some pedals in there and we did it. I did make it so that either one of my guitars can fit in here. This piece is a little bit loose uh, to allow for a little bit extra room fitting that guitar in there. But it's way more snug than it used to be so actually I'm happy uh, if I'm not even using the pedal board I can put stuff back there on each side and it's more secure. The guitar is more secure in here than it was before because it used to flop around sideways and kind of rest like this and the neck would be up against here and I didn't always like that pressure. So this has improved this case 100%. I don't actually know what brand this was. I traded a guy on Craigslist for a different case that I had because this uh, my case only fit Telecasters and then I got this Jazzmaster and it didn't fit. So I, and it's not the best quality. I do like it now that I've modified everything. I'm not gonna change a lot, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend, even if I knew what brand it was, you buy this one. But if you have a case, definitely try it out. Let me know. I'm curious to see if anyone does this. Um, the interesting thing, the kind of limitation that I ran into, obviously you can't have a very long pedal board if you want it to fit in the case. But um, I wasn't aware that the height would become such an issue. So like pedal height, if, if you have a different case, it might be a little bit taller. But this one in particular, I wanted to initially have a board that I could put the pedal, the power supply underneath and then put the pedals on top of it, kind of like pedal train style or something like that. But um, that ended up being way too tall to fit in this case. So this barely fits in. Some of the knobs do hit. This is kind of like a foam covered, or you know, it's felt covered foam. So it's padded, but um, Anything bigger, we would have some issues. And I've got this cable hooked up here, but it goes in pretty smoothly, pretty tight fit. And it's been real interesting playing with these pedals also, um, just limiting myself to two uh, d distortion pedals and then two kind of time-based delay or reverb. I end up focusing a little bit more on the actual notes that I wanna play. So yeah, I think I've said enough about this case pretty straightforward. I like the idea. I will definitely go back to a big pedal board at some point, but it'll be fun to go back and forth. I like messing around with different gear. That's why I have two guitars. It's nice to go between. 
The two, once you get bored of one for playing it for a while, you switch over to the other. Get bored of that, switch over to the other. But I'm assuming this video is not very long yet, so, you know, why don't we make just a quick song using only these pedals? Thanks for watching. It turned out kind of similar to my hour long or my hour song. I did this in less than an hour though. It was actually short. It was quick. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see some more. I'm trying to upload about weekly with varied results. But I appreciate it. We'll catch you later.